Midsummer in the rainforest brings immense beauty. It is the feeling of fresh water flowing over your skin. It is the abundant harvests and food cooked straight from the garden. It is the long afternoons spent exploring, or the mornings engulfed in a blanket of mist. Summer is the feeling of freedom, the warmth of the sun, and the energy of the rain. It is the feeling of a butterfly's wings flapping between flowers, or the water falling from your fingers. Summer in the rainforest is like nothing else. We usually spend each afternoon by the water. The humidity is so forceful, so this oasis feels like the only place to be. It's a little walk through the vines and over fallen logs to a secret pool of blue water that catches the last afternoon light. Here, everything feels calm. Summers spent by this stream stretch like the shadows. Time stands still as we're held by the water. There was a cyclone and a few different weather systems hitting the east coast last week, but we were lucky and most of the storms missed us. This calls for a summer celebration, acting as a reminder of the season's unpredictability. This life in the forest has taught us that we never really know what's coming next. It could be a devastating storm or another afternoon by the Blue River. So we take it as it comes and learn to appreciate the moments as they pass. The birds spend their summer days by the water too. As we swim, we watch to a family of kookaburras above, the young learning to swoop worms in the wet soil. We see this family all around the farm. They nested in the forest, in an old termite's nest, and we heard the babies chirp as they grew. We saw the parents collect worms and take them back to the nest, and now they are old enough to start learning from their parents. We feel so lucky to be able to watch them as they learn to sing, which they haven't quite gotten the hang of yet. Misty mornings might be my favorite part of summer. There is something so incredible about being inside a cloud and peeking through to the familiar mountains and trees engulfed in mist. 
Me and the ducks love these mornings and normally go for a little walk in their paddock, watching the mist rise as the sun hits. Our pumpkin vine has gone wild this year, and with all of the rain forecasts, we're picking them before they split or rot. It's incredible, the whole orchard is filled with them. Normally we get pumpkins in the autumn, but this one kind of flipped seasons. Because all of our seasons are so mild, it grew over the winter, and now it's ready in the summer. There are so many, we don't know what to do with all of them, so if you have any pumpkin recipes or ideas, please let us know. The thing about pumpkins is that you can use it in so many different ways. In savoury food or sweet food, in so many different cultures and cuisines, and it just tastes so good, especially when it's harvested straight from the vine. Our pumpkin vine originally started in the garden, but quickly grew through the orchard. This one's for the goats, it's rotten. We planted a cover crop in here a few months ago, so this promotes soil health and keeps weeds at bay. But we should be chopping it off now to put the nutrients back in the soil. We haven't got around to it yet, but we don't mind that it's flowering because this will mean that it'll put out seeds for the next season. Any scrap pumpkins that have split or been eaten go straight to the goats. And each time they question it at first before absolutely munching it down.
The summer heat means that we want to swim all day, every day. So we find ourselves by a waterfall or creek pretty often. This is one of my favourite places to rest, under the palm trees. Why the boy is so sick? His name is Nebula and his legs are just a bit weak. So it feels like it could be a paralysis tick, but I've checked all over and he doesn't have one. So maybe he just got an injury of some kind. I know that once Magnolia the goat stepped on one of the ducks and it was like this for a day, but then it was fine and it recovered. So maybe it's just something like that. I'll keep an eye on him. Really healthy lately. B has a feather condition so that she can't waterproof her feathers, and in the summer it's always pretty hard for her because she gets so wet with all the summer rain. But she's kind of trained herself to just stay inside when it's rainy, and she stays in the pen and just lets out a little quack from inside. She's really good at the moment. Yeah, you're really good. It's funny because I always laugh that these little ducks don't really have a purpose because they barely even lay eggs, but then I remember that this is their purpose. They eat all of the fallen fruit so that we don't get fruit fly. And it's actually very meaningful, isn't it, Bee? <laughs>
The music in this video is by Siv Jakobsen, and you can find her links in our description. Thank you so much to our patrons. We are immensely grateful to this community.